Hi, welcome to Nini's Nest. Today I was thinking about Arthur's Eyes by Mark Brown because I got my new glasses this week. And when I get new glasses, I can see a little bit better and it just makes me happy. And this story is a great story for all of us to um, enjoy about Arthur. Here's the title page, Arthur's Eyes by Mark Brown. And we see him putting on some glasses here. But on the first page, no glasses. So let's begin at the beginning. This is Arthur before he got glasses. He looked fine, but he couldn't see very well. Sometimes he got headaches. That's not good. Arthur had to hold his book so close that his nose cut in the way. He couldn't see the board. Francine had to read Arthur the problems, I guess for math. Are you blind, she always asked. Francine got every problem right. Arthur didn't. No one wanted to play with Arthur. Well, there are different reasons for missing a basket, but obviously, Arthur's having trouble seeing well enough to hit the basket. Arthur's father and mother took him to the optometrist. Dr. Iris tested Arthur's eyes. You need glasses, said Dr. Iris. And if you've been to the eye doctor, they use this kind of a tool for you to look through to read the chart. And you read either the top top one that has the big letters, or if you're able to see way down here, then you may not need glasses. You may have what they call 20-20 vision. Arthur trod on all kinds of frames, which means the kind of glasses you get. He chose the ones he liked best. You look very handsome in your new glasses, said his father. Everything looks clearer, said Arthur. His mother told him he looked very smart. Now you see they come in all different shapes and even colors. I have some sort of blue glasses this time that I'm liking. But the next morning his friends laughed at him. Francine called him four eyes. Sissy, shouted Buster. None of Arthur's friends wore glasses. So you see him kind of slinking along, pulling his hood up so maybe they might not see him. No one in his family wore glasses either. Arthur felt awful. He didn't care if he could see. He didn't want to be called four eyes. Arthur decided he would lose his glasses. Arthur put his shirt in the laundry. In the front pocket were his glasses. His mother found them the next morning. You have to be more careful, Arthur. You're lucky they weren't broken. Can you see the look his sister is giving him? That day at school, Arthur hid his glasses in his lunchbox. He told his teacher he forgot them. But now things were harder to see than ever. When Arthur walked down the hall to the boys' room, he had to count the doors. He opened the door. Francine was talking. What was Francine doing in the boys' room? Uh-oh. He did not read the girl's sign there. Get out of here, screamed Francine. This is the girl's room. Arthur bumped into the wall. He couldn't find the door. Now all the girls were screaming. Out in the hall, doors opened and teachers ran out. The principal appeared. Everyone was looking at Arthur. Oh my. Arthur turned red. He wanted to hide. The principal took Arthur to his office. 
My goodness, no one wants to go to the principal's office. Then Arthur's teacher talked to him. Why don't you keep your glasses in a case in your pocket as I do? He asked. You wear glasses, asked Arthur. Yes, for reading, said his teacher. He took them out. They looked just like Arthur's, brown. Suddenly, Arthur felt better. He went to his lunchbox and put on his glasses. In gym, Arthur made 10 baskets. Francine made four. That afternoon, Arthur didn't need Francine to read the problems on the board for him. He got every one right. Arthur could see Francine's paper. She missed two. Now, first of all, he can see her paper. I bet he couldn't do that without his glasses. After school, Francine asked Arthur to be on her team. I'll consider it, said Arthur. The next morning, Arthur was very surprised when he saw Francine. They're my movie star glasses, said Francine. But there isn't any glass in them, said Arthur. It doesn't matter. They help me concentrate and make me look beautiful, said Francine. Seems she's had a change of heart. She thinks glasses are fine now. That afternoon, a photographer took the class picture. Just a minute, said Arthur. He took out his glasses. He carefully polished them and put them on. Everyone ready, asked the photographer. Wait, said Francine. She ran to get her purse. She took out her movie star glasses. Okay, I'm ready too, said Francine. Smile, said the photographer. And so we see Mr. Marcos, grade two, and we see Arthur and Francine with their glasses. And I'm assuming Mr. Marcos also is wearing his that day. Um, sometimes when you first get glasses, you feel different, but many people wear glasses and I'm so thankful to have mine because I like to read books for myself and I like to read books to you and they're so um, helpful. So um, I hope you'll look back on my list of stories and see the other stories about Arthur in our list. And be sure and subscribe to my channel, Nene's Nest, so that you can see any other Arthur books that I might read. And I'll be back on Wednesday. See you soon.